From all of us at Pure Blue H2O, we thank you for purchasing the three-stage, one-to-one reverse osmosis water filtration system. To install your reverse osmosis water filtration system, you'll begin by installing the angle stop adapter. First, close the cold water supply line, then turn on your kitchen faucet to release pressure and allow water to completely drain from the line. Disconnect the cold water line from the cold water angle stop valve. Then, wrap plumber's tape around the cold water angle stop valve in a clockwise direction and screw on the angle stop adapter. Be careful not to over tighten the angle stop adapter. Then, wrap plumber's tape around the male thread side of the angle stop adapter in a clockwise direction and screw in the cold water supply line. Do not over tighten. First, identify the drain outlet location. Use the hole in the foam seal as a template to locate your drilling position above the drain tap and mark the location. The hole should be on the same side of the drain as the faucet to keep the drain tube from kinking. At the marked location, drill a quarter inch hole through the wall of the drain pipe. Be careful not to penetrate the opposite side of the pipe. Then, remove the protective cover from the back of the foam seal and attach to the front plate of the drain connector in alignment with the holes. Begin to position the drain connector on the sink drain pipe with the provided screws and nuts. Use your pencil or a thin pen in the drain connector tube hole to guide your location over your drilled hole as you securely tighten the nuts and screws. Remember to remove your pencil once the location is established. To install the manifold assembly, you will first select an easily accessible area under your sink to mount the system manifold. Please allow four to six inches of clearance below the filter from the floor to allow ample space for filter changes. Make sure to take into consideration the length of the tubing from the faucet. Then mark holes for the mounting screws using the built-in bracket on the back of the manifold. Once marked, drill two pilot holes for the mounting brackets using a 1 8 inch drill bit. Be careful not to drill into anything beyond the cabinet wall. Insert the mounting screws into the wall and leave approximately 3 8 inches of each screw exposed. Hang the manifold on the mounting screws. Now on to the filter installation. First, hold the new filter with the front label facing a quarter turn to the left. The two nozzles on the top of the filter should be toward the back of the filter system and the two extended flanges should be out to each side. Then, lift the filter straight up into the manifold until the two nozzles slide into the manifold ports and the two extended flanges are flush with the manifold. Turn the filter to the right until it stops completely. The next step is installing the water storage tank. First, apply two to three wraps of plumber's tape on the nipple of the top of the tank in a clockwise direction. To keep the tank from leaking, make sure the tank connector is fully tightened by hand tightening the tank connector onto the tank nipple around four to five times but do not use a wrench, cross thread, or over tighten. Once you have a sink top hole measuring one and a quarter inches in diameter, make sure all tubing is inserted through the hole without any restrictions. Then insert the metal washer back up the tubing and begin to tighten the faucet to the sink base by hand tightening the faucet nut. Make sure to not over tighten as you will damage and strip the threads of the faucet. The next step is connecting the tubing. To install the tubing for the water supply line from the angle stop adapter to the manifold inlet, push the quarter inch tube into the angle stop adapter until fully inserted and gently tug on the tubing to ensure it is firmly seated in the fitting. 
Then, you must determine the length necessary to connect to the manifold. Please allow sufficient tubing to prevent the line from kinking. With a utility knife or scissors, cut the quarter inch white tubing squarely to the desired length. Push the tubing into the manifold labeled inlet until fully inserted and gently tug on the tubing to make sure it is firmly seated in the fitting. Identify the 3 8 inch blue tubing that is already attached to the faucet stem. Then, insert the end of the blue tubing into the manifold outlet labeled faucet. Push firmly into the fitting until fully inserted. Connect the 4 foot 3 8 inch white tubing to the outlet labeled tank, and then gently tug to make sure the connection is secure. Then, insert the tubing end into the compression nut of the tank connector fitting, all the way to the tube stop inside the fitting body. Then, gently tug on the tubing to ensure it is firmly seated in the fitting. Hand tighten the nut. To connect the air gap from the faucet to the reverse osmosis assembly, you must first locate the membrane drain port on the bottom of the stage 2 filter. Then, remove the plug from the membrane filter drain port. Next, identify the quarter inch red tubing attached to the faucet body. Remove the flow restrictor from the bottom of the red tubing and cut the red tubing to a length that will not lead to slacking or kinking. Once you are finished, reinstall the flow restrictor into the red tubing and insert it into the stage two filter drain port until fully inserted. Gently tug on the red tubing to ensure it is firmly seated into the drain port fitting. Then reinstall the stage two filter into the manifold. Next, you will attach the 3 8 inch tube to the collet on the sink drain connector. First, measure the length of the faucet's 3 8 inch white tubing and the distance needed to reach the drain connector. Then, insert it into the fitting until fully inserted. Gently tug on the white tubing to ensure it is firmly seated in the fitting. To start up your system, open the cold water supply valve to the reverse osmosis filter system first. Then, to purge the air from the plumbing system, slowly open the kitchen faucet. You can close the faucet when the water runs smooth. Next. Confirm the reverse osmosis faucet is closed and check for leaks. Within approximately two hours, pressure will start to build up in the reverse osmosis filter system. Carefully inspect all connections and fittings while this pressure buildup occurs. Then check for leaks again. If any leaks occur, check the quick connections to ensure they are fully inserted. Lastly, open the reverse osmosis faucet and leave it open until the water begins to trickle out. Be patient as this may take a few minutes and the water will come out slowly. Then close the reverse osmosis faucet allowing the storage tank to fill with water. It may take three to six hours to fill the tank completely. Let the tank fill and drain one more time for a total of two tanks drained. The fourth tank can be used for drinking. Please note that this flushing process should take about a day to complete. Thank you again for purchasing our Pure Blue H2O three-stage one-to-one reverse osmosis water filtration system. We hope this has helped you become familiar with the system and our solutions with water.